This is a quick demonstration of EMC's VSI FlexBase client for the new VMware vSphere web client as part of vSphere 5.1. If we log into the web client, you can see it's got a fresh, simple, and easy new look. And this actually allows us to rewrite a lot of the things that EMC Virtual Storage Integrator has done to make managing EMC storage easier. If we navigate down to uh, hosts and clusters and we look at uh, individual cluster here, um, one thing that's immediately apparent is that under the Actions tab, uh, we've got the ability to simplify the interface by making it all context sensitive. So when we go to the All Plugin Actions, you only see the ones that are enabled at the, at the cluster level here, for example, creating a data store. If you want to create a data store, it's simple and easy, whether it's VMFS or NFS with EMC storage. We'll pick the target storage array, uh, and then we'll configure some basic parameters. We can pick the pools that exist within the storage array. Uh, so here you can see an auto-tiered fast virtual pool we'll select. Um, and then uh, whether we want it to be a VMFS5 volume, which is the default, uh, or VMFS3 if we need it for legacy purposes. And then we're going to identify certain parameters. What's the LUN ID? Uh, where should it, uh, which uh, storage processor should be the default owner? Capacity, is it thin? Is it auto-tiered? All that sort of stuff. But you can see it's unbelievably simple, whether it's block or NAS storage. Another example of what we've done in the updated version of the VSI Flex-based plugin is if you can navigate to the data stores, you can see here we've got an NFS data store and a VMFS data store. Uh, when you click on it, uh, directly in that view, you can see the context-sensitive uh, information that can give you detailed information on that particular data store. And if we go to the Actions tab, you can see that the plugin actions for a data store uh, are a series of activities like, uh, uh, you know, protect it, snapshot it, compress it, uh, change the tiering policy, extend the volume, those sorts of things. Again, all of the simplicity that we've done historically with EMC VSI but now, using the new web-based Flex client, uh, we can make it even easier. If we go in under storage systems, you can even see visually the arrays that you've got, as well as add and remove arrays. So there you have it, a preview of this new VSI Flex-based client uh, for our EMC and VMware customers. Thanks very much for joining.